So p yeah. of x has of zeros, one minus two and three. And you're given if p of two equal to two, find out p of x. So a typical thing a lot of students get started is that they know if it has zero, then they'll say, well, it's x minus one. So that gives me zero of x equal to one, right? And then x plus two, that'll give me zero for this one. And then x minus uh, plus th minus three will give me zero for this one. But the, th the trick is here, you have to have a coefficient in a in the front. So when x equal to one, there's a disappears. So you can't see what the a is. That's what this part of the information is helping you to find. Okay, so when you have this one, um, you have p of x, p of 2 is equal to 2, right? So from here, you can say, all right, then I have 2 equal to a if I substitute x equal to 2. Okay, so x is equal to 2 minus 1. That's just my this term. Okay, this term is 2 plus 2, and the next term is 2 minus 3. That's this term. Okay. My goal is to find out what this coefficient a is, and from there, then I can have the complete answer for p of x. Let's go ahead and solve this one. So a, this is minus 1, uh, positive 1, this is a 4, this is minus 1. So you have 2 is equal to a times minus 4. And from here, it's pretty easy to see that a is really equal to minus half. Okay, so if a equal to minus half, you complete the equation for your uh, p of x is minus half times x minus 1, x plus 2, x minus 3. So the trick for this problem is really finding this coefficient of a here. All right, have a confident day.